Living donor liver transplantation is uh, a procedure where a family member donates part of his liver or her liver to their loved one who's got end stage liver disease. It's only offered for patients who will die of their liver disease within the next six months to 12 months or who will die of their disease sometimes in acute liver failure, in a condition called acute liver failure, they might die within a week. In the Western world, most of the transplants are done as a cadaver liver transplant, whereas in the Eastern part of the world, where there are no suitable organs available, the operation is done as a living donor liver transplant. At the moment, the majority of these operations are done in the Far East, in countries like Japan and Korea. But in the last seven years, living donor liver transplantation has become very popular in India and I believe that in the next two to three years India will be one of the major countries where living donor liver transplantation will be done in large numbers. The incidence of uh, liver disease in India is very high. There is a high incidence of uh, viral infections such as hepatitis B and hepatitis C virus and also the incidence of fatty liver disease is very rampant within Indian population. Fatty liver disease comes in individuals who are generally overweight and have a sedentary lifestyle and these patients will form fat in the liver and over a period of time this fat converts to some inflammation and then the livers become hard which we call fibrosis and fibrosis finally results in a condition called cirrhosis. Once the cirrhosis sets in, it is generally not reversible and these, pe these patients will go on to become liver failure. Fatty liver disease and other liver diseases can also form liver cancer and if liver cancer is uh, detected very early, they can be cured with uh, liver transplantation, mainly living donor liver transplantation. However, if advanced cancer is detected, there are, no, there are not many curative options available for these patients. Now, to be a suitable donor, one has to be between 18 and 50, 50 years of age and they should not have any comorbidity or any associated medical illnesses. And they also have to be first degree or second degree relatives. Now, does the donor operation itself have any risks? There are some minor risks involved in, donor in, the, in the donor operations, but most of the patients will recover without any major complications. There have been deaths reported in the rest of the world and the risk of uh, the donor operation is estimated to be 1 in 200 to 1 in 300. Most of the complications of donor operations can be resolved with very minor interventions. And coming to the results of living donor liver transplantation for the recipients. Now there are two types of recipients. One are recipients who are acutely ill called acute liver failure and the other ones are chronic liver disease or cirrhosis of the liver. The results of acute liver failure is slightly inferior to those patients with chronic liver disease. You could expect up to a 90% survival in patients with chronic liver disease whereas in the acute liver failure group it may be 5% to 10% less and the survival is in the range of 80 to 85% in acute liver failure. In patients with chronic liver disease, again, the results will vary depending on when patients come for medical help. If patients come early, when they are in a stable condition, the results can be very good, whereas when patients come very late in the course of their illness and they have not actually sought medical help for many years with liver disease, then if transplantation is done in a critical state, the result is also poorer than if it is done in a stable condition. And therefore, it is important that patients with liver disease seek help and advice from specialists who have an interest in managing liver disease. And finally, what about the long-term prospects of patients who have had a liver transplant? When patients have had a liver transplant, the first thing is the operation is done as a life-saving measure. It's not done for patients who have no risk of dying. So that itself is a very positive thing about liver transplantation. What about the quality of life in the long term? Patients who have had liver transplant in the long term have an excellent quality of life. Most patients will return to how they were nearly five years ago. They will be able to return back to work if they have been actively working before their illness. What about 
medication. How long do they have to take medication after living down a liver transplantation? Patients will have to take medication for the rest of their life. And these are medications called immunosuppressive drugs. These drugs actually, in, in fact, suppress their immune system slightly so they will not reject their organs. So it is essential they do not stop these medications and any adjustments in the dosage of these medications should also be in consultation with only the doctors who are looking after them. They will also require regular follow-up in uh, monitoring their general health because immunosuppressive drugs have also got other complications. They can increase the risk of infection in them. Some of these drugs can also affect their kidney function and they can also increase their cholesterol and uh, they can cause other abnormalities and therefore they have to be on lifelong follow-up. Even though you need to be on lifelong follow-up, even though these patients have to be on lifelong medication, the quality of life of these patients can be extremely good and they will have a very, very good and a happy life.